Hi everyone, just uh, wanted to say a quick hello and see how you're getting on this first week. Um, very soon I'm expecting a quick Skype phone call from uh, my long lost cousin over in America. You've, you've met him before, he's called Bongo Overmeyer. He's due to ring me any minute, so just, just before he does, just wanted to share with you a really good uh, maths game that you don't need any internet for, any books, you just need a bit of paper or whiteboard and a dice. And basically the game is called Dice Darts, so you can start with say 101 and against a teammate you can just roll the dice and subtract that number each time and the first one to reach zero is the winner. Loads of ways to make it easier or make it harder, you could start at 20 and roll the dice, you could start at 50. To make it trickier you could have two die and roll it and multiply them together or you could make a decimal number, so if you rolled three and a five it could be 3.5 and take that away from 20 for example. Or if, you, if your child wanted to work on addition you could start at zero and see who reached 50 first. So, I've just had a little game with my little boy and without knowing he's done about 20 subtraction questions really quickly. So give that game a try, Dice Darts, it's really good fun and like I say it's dead easy to, to, to have a go at. In fact, it just ringed me now. Now if you remember last time when he phoned, he made loads of mistakes with people's uh, names. I've told him the names of the people at school, I'm hoping he doesn't make a mess of it this time. Right, here comes Bongo. Oh yeah, how are you doing cousin? Or should I say, Mr. Broadstraw, as the children know you. Anyway, sorry to hear that Hall Carnby Brook is closed at the moment, but it's great to see so many children still taking part in Times Table rock stars, even defeating Bongo Overmeyer every now and then. But I'm still up there in the top 20. Anyway, some exciting news on Hall Carnby Brook's TTRS. We have some battles going on. And I can see battles between year five and six, year four, five, and year three, four, and year two and year three. Amazing stuff. And those battles will come to a close next Wednesday, April the 1st. So in year two, our teachers are Mrs. Welsh and Mrs. Long. Their star player at the moment is PJ Rains. In year three, really close contest. Miss, Mrs. Thorny terms class. Bella Broach, you're scoring superbly. Keep it up. Into key stage two, we have in year three, four, Mr. Croswar's class. Prince Sally, what a great player you are. However, year four, five are just in the lead at the moment in Mrs. Hug has his class. Josh Hansen, you are their star player. But the battle in year five and year six. In Mr. Trench's class, Denise Rich, you're the star player there. And of course, Mr. Broadstraw, your class are just leading at the moment. PJ Zeller, Washington Donner, and jo Johnny Old Man O'Rock. Three top players you've got there, Mr. Broadstraw. Anyway. We'll find out the winners next Wednesday, April the 1st. Will your class be the fools? Bye, Bongo. See you soon. I'm so sorry to all the staff. I knew we'd get people's names wrong. He even got my name wrong. Oh, well, we'll find out on Wednesday then who's won the battles. And then we'll set up some new battles. I'm not sure how to play it next time. Maybe year fives versus year six, year threes versus year four. We'll see. Take care, everybody. Have a good week.